Hello dear viewer and welcome back to this KOTOR Let's Play on iPad. There might be some gastrointestinal upsets that happened during this uh, recording. I like that hiccup right there. Um, unfortunately, I have some tight scheduling with recording right now. So I'm going to try and put a disclaimer that uh, this video may indeed have some unwanted sounds in it. Such as burps, hiccups, etc. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Hopefully you'll add some levity to this somewhat dark time in Jolie's life. His friend Sunri is being investigated for murder, and we're on the case. Looks like he did it. Uh, so the only real question, excuse me, is whether or not the Sith and the Republic are playing one another and blah blah blah. Alassa was actually trying to set him up. Etc, etc. Okay, we already talked to Ignis last time. Uh, apparently we can use him as a witness. One thing to note, uh, in the online guide that I researched, you can get, excuse me, experience for bribing this guy to lie at the trial. So, I'm not going to do that. But it is possible, and you will get experience points for it. So if you want to game the system, you can do that. I don't think it gives you dark side points. I can't remember entirely because I'm not planning to do it, so I didn't pay as much attention to it. Uh, ooh, excuse me. But um, what we have to do now is figure out, will Alora tell us about the affair, or do we need to talk to Sunri directly? Apparently only one of them will tell the truth, and that can be important in the trial if we do the trial. But there is a faster way of getting this done. And that is simply to turn in the tape to the judges and absolutely incriminate Sunri. I'm leaning towards that. Um, whew, excuse me. Um, because that way we can get on with the main mission faster. I know. It's so sad. But Sunri did do it. We have irrefutable evidence, really. Unless it was a fake hollow video that the Republic was holding on to. Hmm. Highly doubtful. Highly doubtful. Anyway, where am I going? Auto West. There we go. Not the Colto distribution plant. Okay. Ah, and now my hiccups seem to have calmed down. Let's hope that trend continues. Okay, Alora. There you are. Uh, Master Valor. We've learned this lesson too many times that, you know... Yeah, was Sunri having an affair? Whoa! What, what just happened? Okay, well, we can read the last thing she did. Huh. I wonder if that's a bug in the iPad version, but... I really don't know. Anyway, regardless, she knows that Sunri had an affair. Um, he is a soldier, though. That was a long time ago in a war far, far away. Oh my goodness. What a shout out. Okay. Um, your husband might not be so innocent. And I couldn't see what she said. Huh. Is this true for everybody I try to talk to? Hello? Hello? Testing? Okay. Retrying this, and we'll see what happens. Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this KOTOR Let's Play on iPad. This is actually a take two. Uh, I'll probably try and include take one, since it looks like my quick save file saved after we talked with Alora. Uh, and there was some sort of bug or something going on, where basically... Oh, okay. No. Back to normal. Hmm. But it sped through all of her dialogue, so I don't know if it thought I kept clicking things or what, but I persuaded her last time. Huh. I guess it didn't. What? Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll include that previous footage, I guess. But we started out in the Republic's diplomatic center, the embassy. Uh, we traveled over here, talked with Laura. And now it seems like everything's working again. 
Well, according to the guide, if we can't get Alora to admit to the affair, then Sunri will just automatically, if I remember correctly. But only one of them will admit to it. Hmm. Poor Alora. Oh wait. Harlot was only using him. I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the sick woman attacked him and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, he me. Hmm. Well, she's probably a Sith spy. He's a soldier. Put two and two together, and you have the Republic and the Sith probably trying to play off one another. And two people caught in the middle. Sunri and Alassa. Man, this is a sad episode. Uh, your husband might not be so innocent. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. This is kind of a repeat, Joey. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do it. I'm sorry to say, Laura, that that is not the case, but we're not going to say that to your face. Yet. Um, yeah. Sadness. Let's see. So, we need to go to the holding cell, which is actually south of us. Okay. Master speed. <laughs> Okay, wait, what? The war is right in front of it? Man, I'm blind. Okay, there's the guard. And Jolie is blocking me, and so is this sign, and there we go. Otto City Prison. I'm not authorized? What? Okay, I have to talk to this guy, I guess. Oh, wait. Force Auto. Sorry, Master Valor. Okay, yeah. Now you'll unlock it after I talk to you. Okay. We have to talk to the warden. Okay. And as I previously discussed, I think we're just going to turn the tape over to the judge. Which, yeah, that'll expedite things. Okay, well. Yeah, that guy should be here. Yep. That is now proven, apparently. Uh, Jolie, what are you doing? Yes. Okay. Sunri. Let's save. Let's use... Mm, Master Valor. Sure. There we go. Jolie, you go Sunri, ahead. What are you doing here? The law sent me, Sunri. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire. You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the soul cats seem to think that there's, well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. There's a few Go things ahead, we have to clear up. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. Were you in the last of having an affair? I don't know what this must look like. Yes. Yes, we were having an affair. I know it was wrong, but I'm a weak man. Alasa was beautiful and young. How was I to resist her charms? But I didn't kill her. I loved her. Please. I know I made a terrible mistake getting involved with Alasa, but I was going there to break it off with her. I did it, but found out later that she was dead. I don't deserve to go to jail just for having an affair, do I? You have to help me prove that I wasn't the killer. Okay. Let's go over the evidence. You know I was having an affair with Alasa. I went there to break it off that night. 
But I can tell you it wasn't easy. She is was young and beautiful. But I love Alora. I knew I had to do it. I broke it off quickly as I could and then I left. Found out later she'd been murdered when the SoCap authorities came knocking on my door. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you. Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? You know why I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the SoCap, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly. Clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Hmm. Go Let's ahead. see this one again. I know you're guilty. I've got the Republic's data recording. Hmm. Unless they, like, faked his image or something. I never meant to kill her, Nova. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, but something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple this. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. Found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room. Altered its recording to hide my part in it. And cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. Hmm. But the Sith found out the truth, didn't they? The Sith must have been spying on me and Lhasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence, so they planted their own evidence. Lhasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to a Sith master like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? Oh, man. Sun Ray. This is kind of more about you, man. You're guilty, Sun Ray. Confess. You become some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? That's different, Sun Ray, and you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malik's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. Hmm. Well, if you confess, the court might show mercy. Plus, we do have evidence the Sith have the frame up, so hey. I don't know how this confession part works. So, we're going to find out. If you confess, the court might show mercy. I confess. I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Otto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat the injuries to our soldiers on the front lines? These are just excuses, Sunry. We both know you have to own up to your crimes. No. I can't do that. And put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't. I may have done something stupid, and it may only be worse for my standing by it, but I will not confess. If we turn the order, the Republic will likely lose its Kolto export privileges, and then we'll lose the war for sure. Are you going to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your sense of justice? Sunry, this is wrong, and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jory. I know what I did. But I also know what's at stake here. So, I'll rot in here if I have to. I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to. But know what the consequences will be. Ah, and this is the shadiness of the whole thing. Is it's like, 
you have this big choice to make, right? Honestly, I don't think we have to worry about the Colto exports since I'm pretty sure the Sith have a very nefarious scheme already that we might be able to overturn, etc, etc. So, you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on us for just one thing you did, really. Hmm. Oh, I almost walked through that cage. Hi, Sunri. I'm joining you here. Anyway. Sunri did do it. So, I am going to turn in the tape. And as I previously explained, hopefully that'll move things along faster and help us get to the next part of the story. Sorry, Jovi. Sorry, Sunri. But it was your decision. So let's save. Hmm. So you are the Arbiter in the Sunri Alas America, then. I hope you are as impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. You off-worlders have a tendency to ignore the rule of law in favor of some rather irrational causes. What is it that I can do for you now? Um. Oh, I thought I could just turn in the tape. Hmm. Do you know anything about a star map? Nope. And it's quite illogical to think that a being who spends his entire day locked in a room with insane people and murderers would know much about the outside world. Okay, that is very, very true. Hmm. Nothing for now. Uh, maybe if I just go to the court and turn it in. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to just turn it over to a judge. Yeah. Yes. Jolie, do you still have master speed? Well, we do now. Okay. Well, if that warden's anything like his judges, it sounds like they'll be mostly impartial regarding Colto exports. Especially considering the Republic's still going to pay them. I mean, you know, they're not going to turn down money. Probably. I suppose I must spend some time talking to you since you are here in an official capacity. What do you need? Uh, no more questions for now. Uh, which guy do I talk to? Ah, the Arbiter. Since you have been permitted to defend Sunri against these accusations, I shall assist how I can. Um, no more questions for now. Did I talk to the middle guy yet? As Arbiter of the Sunri murder trial, you have the authority to question me on matters pertaining to this case. Okay, questions about the trial. Uh, ask you something else. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have to talk to the warden and convince the trial then? Hmm. Thought I could just turn him to tape. Well, that happened. Okay. So. The trial works kind of off a of points-based system where you have to try and convince enough of the judges of Sunri's, you know, either innocence or guilt. And to do that, you basically want to point out that there was an affair, that it was very weird for there to be a war medal there, and the bribed Ignis can help you out. You don't have to bribe him to win, etc., etc. Regardless... Let's get buff. Then talk to the warden. Even though we don't need to. Want to begin Sunri's trial now. Yeah, we're certain. Yep. Yes, let's begin the trial. Okay, let the record show that the trial of Sunri versus the Otto City Authority has commenced. Presiding are Judges Shelkar, Josa, Nalashakan, Kota, and Dula. This trial is to determine the culpability of Sunri in the death of the Sith Alasa. Representing Sunri in his defense as a member of the Jedi Order. Do you have any opening statements? Sunri is guilty of the murder. I have this recording as proof. Okay. I'm recording. Let this new evidence be entered in the records. Ah, this new evidence is most convincing. Yes. Yes, it seems to be. This shortens the trial considerably. In light of this new evidence, there is no need to proceed with the witnesses or cross-examinations. 
This court hereby finds Sunri guilty of the murder of the Sith Alassa. In accordance with Selkath law, the prescribed punishment for murder is death. The verdict has been delivered, and this trial is now over. Remove the guilty party from this courtroom. Oh. I thought it was going to be 20 years in prison. Man. Uh, not an easy decision, however you look at it. Still, Sunri made his choice. And we made ours. Okay, well... Moving on to star map stuff. Probably. Okay, nothing else new. The diplomats left. Okay. Well then, let's go back to the hangars and see if we can't find out some stuff about the Sith. Hmm. I think we're good. I wonder if the negotiator has anything new to say to me. I'm in the middle of a republic. Maybe you could hire me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right, I also heard that for this, you can very easily obtain some XP and credits just by signing up to be a mercenary and then talking to the guy again. So you know what? Hmm. Might as well try that. And since Jolie's in the party, we can both use Master Speed. And what's over here? Oh. Well, maybe we stumbled onto something new. Okay, greetings, human. My name is Nilko Boas. I hope you are joining yourself here in Otto City. A floating city is beautiful, is it not? Uh, you're a lot more friendly than most of the Selkath here. I'm afraid you speak the truth, human. My people are suspicious of outsiders. They fear the destruction of our beautiful planet. The beauty of Manan is delicate. Our ecosystem is complex and fragile, and I fear for the preservation of my planet. What are you talking about? There is a task I would ask, human Jedi. I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you want me to do? Rest assured, there will be ample reward for this human. I only require information, nothing more. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Selkath people, this is of great concern to me. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Why do you need me for this? You can't trust anybody else, okay. Republic has secrets. Sith can't be trusted to give an accurate report of events. Yeah, that's true. And the mercs are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying. Hmm. Uncover the truth, and I'll pay you 500 credits. Okay. Oh, Jolie was just warning us. Nice. Uh, okay. Find out why the mercenaries do not return. Hmm. Well, I'll look into it. That doesn't mean I'll bring it back to you. But, yeah. Okay, he's a friend of the Republic. Supposedly. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, my guess is the person hiring mercenaries is the person in trouble. Oh, there's a mercenary right there. Cool one. Well. Hmm. A mercenary who's not for hire. That's strange. There are other mercenaries you can hire, though I suggest you act quickly. The Republic seems to be in desperate need of mercenaries right now, though not so desperate they have asked for my help as of yet. They prefer the simpering, submissive type, like the Mandalorian or the Achani. What do you have against the Achani and the Mandalorians? Okay. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Okay. Well, why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? 
Yeah, fair enough. Oh, maybe they're all trying to break into the Sith base. Anyway, um, I'm seeking an ancient star map. Yeah, I'll be going now. <laughs> Iridorians, huh? I don't think I've ever heard of those before. Viglo. Well, okay. Well, I guess next time we're going to look into the Republic's mercenary thing. Oh. Yeah. Um, as if they're a blight upon the galaxy, really. Hmm. My allegiances are my own business. Eh, the first. Okay, this guy shares his dislike of the Sith with us. Okay. He's not a fool. <laughs> He wants to help the Republic, but politics stay his hand. What are you talking about? Oh, many of the Selkath have vanished. Wow. And most who have gone missing are on the cusp of adulthood, the youth who will someday lead this planet. My own daughter Shasa is among those who have disappeared. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith, and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something human, something sinister. I can feel it. Okay. You want me to investigate these? 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth. Not much, but all I can afford. Okay. The Republic agents are too closely watched by the Sith, and the Auto City authorities cannot act without proof of Sith involvement. Now yeah, look into that. I cannot imagine where to begin the investigation, though I suspect the Sith did not act alone. Perhaps the Offworlders and the Mercenary Enclave know something. If you learn anything, human, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing Selkath youth, I will reward you as promised. Okay, well. A lot of stuff in this episode. So, for next episode, we'll try and delve into some of these quests. And I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day, dear viewer.